What's going on, everybody? It's John from ElectricCigarReviews.com, bringing you another electronic cigarette review. Uh, this time, I'll be bringing you the uh, V2 SIGs, and this is um, it's basically like their standard kit. But I got some options with it. I got the charging case. I got the lanyard. I got the uh, I got the power SIG. I got quite a few extras that came uh, came with it, which kind of makes it like the uh, the traveler's kit. Uh, but anyway, we'll get into that in the future, and uh, for now, uh, you can check them out at www.v2sigs.com, and uh, make sure you, you know, hop on over to uh, electriccigreviews.com, and go on our coupon code section, and see if there's a coupon to save yourself some money on the V2 kit. So, let's get into the review. Uh, first off, let's say what is included with your, uh, like your basic standard kit. And uh, V2 has come out with a, quite a few different kits. Um, this is my laptop over here is why I keep glancing, just to, you know, more information. Uh, but they came out with a few different kits now. They have like an express kit, an economy kit. Uh, the express kit is basically just a um, USB charger and uh, a battery and like, what, a cartridge, maybe two a cartridge they give you. And it's like $25, so, eh. You know, I think it's a bit much for what they're including, but, you know, if you're just looking to get into it, it's not too bad. Um, then they have the economy kit, which comes with, like, five cartridges, uh, one battery, um, and a charger. So even that's kind of, you know, one battery's not really going to do it. Um, these batteries are kind of small, and uh, they're not going to last you all day. So, uh, like I said, this is more of, like, the standard kit. comes with two batteries. Um... And, uh, you know, this one came with a few options. This may not be the exact way you get the, your kit, but, you know, it's it, you get the general idea. It's close enough. There's different options. You need to pick which is best for you. I'm just reviewing the V2 kit that I have. So it came with, uh, came with instructions. Always nice to have instructions. Um, it's got a real nice case to it. Um, basically, uh, you get yourself, you know, I got a uh, standard size battery, and these batteries are um, manual, which means you have to press the button to make them work, which I personally prefer. Some people prefer to have that automatic battery that just works when you hit it like a cigarette. I like to have a little more control. And, uh, and then there's a longer battery as well. It's kind of like a mega battery. And you can see the difference. It's almost twice the size. You know, it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big difference there. So you got those. Pull this thing out of here. Came with a wall adapter. Let's just dump that stuff out. Got the uh, wall adapter here. Basically, just you know, plug it into your wall, and you got a USB charger. Okay, there's your charger right there. This just plugs right into that, and then boom, you can. Charge your e-cig, and uh, it's also kind of convenient because you can actually charge this at the computer um, or in your car, or whatever you know, wherever you got a, a uh, USB type charger. Uh, this kit also came with five cartridges: um, Sahara Blend, Zero, Nicotine. So I really haven't been using them because I need my nicotine. So I got a bunch of other ones, a whole bunch of different flavors, and they're all on YouTube. Uh, the different flavors, cherry, cola, congress, menthol, tobacco, vanilla. There's uh, V2 has a, a large selection of flavors. They're actually selling it now in the bottled form, too, and empty cartridges that you can fill yourself. So that may be an option for you to check out as well. Uh, so that's what comes with the kit. Assembling it is super simple. Uh, basically, you're just going to make sure your battery's charged. Take your cartridge, which will come in a box. It's got these little condoms on it. You just pull those off. It keeps the, the liquid nice and fresh in there. And you just twist these two together, and you got yourself an electronic cigarette. I mean, that's how easy it is. Like I said, it's got the manual button, so I actually have to press the button down to make it work. So let's take a, uh, let's take a hit here and see how it's, uh, how it's vaping. A menthol full full flavor. It 
Those not bad vapor production. It's not really menthol -y. It's kind of minty to me. Uh, it's not a bad flavor. I could smoke this. Um, getting a decent throat hit with it. You know, you can see the vapor is not too bad. Is it the most amazing thing I've ever bestowed upon with an electronic cigarette? No, it's not. Uh, you know, if you're smoking regular cigarettes, probably going to work pretty good for you. Um, and, like, obviously there's other, there's other flavors. You know, I have, the, I have the Congress here. You know, some, some make more vapor than others do. Some have a better, you know, throat hit than others do. It all depends on the flavor. That's the Congress. It's, uh, it's like kind of like a Parliament type flavor. It's not too bad. When you first open them up, sometimes you got to give them a couple pre puffs to get them going. Now I can tell this has a ca has a cutoff on it, so as you can see, I can't suck forever. That's it. That's all I get. About five seconds worth, which isn't too bad. Five seconds is decent. Now they also offer automatic batteries, and I got these too, like the long one, and I got the short one, and, and they're nice because you don't have to hold the button down. You just kind of inhale. And they work great too. The only problem with these is, you know, with these, you can actually press the button down and fire off in your pocket. Where these kind of work on like a sucking action and they can actually just go off in your pocket. So you got to watch out. I just, I usually just turn the, the car miser back a little touch. That way there's no connection. Can't go off in your pocket. You know, uh, I've had that happen where they've gone off in my pocket. And, uh, you know, you get a nice, oh my God, it's hot, you know. So. You know, that's, that's basically the electronic cigarette that, you know, that, that came. Um, it also came in like a cool little lanyard. You put it around your neck, and this just kind of goes into here. And then you kind of just put it around your neck, and you can just let it hang and keep smoking it. So if you're at like a, uh, if you're at like a concert or, you know, somewhere where you don't have a lot of hands, um, you know, that might be a good option for you. And, uh, you know, it might work out well. Um... Let's see. I also got the Power Sig, which, if you're wondering what it is, it's basically an electronic cigarette battery that's attached to a uh, a USB cord, and it allows you to smoke without using your battery. So if you're at work or in the car or by the computer, it's then they work pretty well. You know, I really can't complain. Uh, the Power Sig is really nice because it actually burns at like five volts, so it kind of kicks butt but it does burn your juice up faster, so remember that. And uh, they also have what's called the Notebook SIG, and I think it's just a standard electronic cigarette, rather than being the Power SIG at 5 volts. And, you know, basically the same concept, it just doesn't burn the juice up as fast. So there's a lot of options that are going on there. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about, which is really neat, is... Uh, it's called the PCC, or Personal Charging Case. Basically, the Personal Charging Case has a battery itself. Sorry for the noise. My uh, water softener is going off in the basement. And uh, basically, this plugs in. It has its own battery inside. And what you actually do is you just take the battery, and it's got this thing here. You plug that in, and you hold this button here, and you can see that the light is blinking. What it actually does is charges the battery while it's in your purse, your pocket, your car, wherever it's at, it's going to charge that battery. And it can charge about four batteries before the case itself needs to be charged. So, especially if you're this kind of kit where you don't have big battery power, and you're scared you're not going to be able to get through the entire day. You don't want to have 10 batteries in your pocket and have to charge 10 batteries at night before you go to work. This is a great option for you. Um, they do work really well. It's even got two spaces to hold extra cartridges. So, 
you know, in theory, even one battery could get you through an entire day, provided you kept it on the charger. Uh, but I always like to have a spare battery with me. I mean, it's just good, good sense to me to have a second battery. And last but not least, well, there was the instructions for the case. And last but not least, we got, um, this is just a V2 SIGS case. And basically it just, you know, it holds your batteries, it holds your cartridges. And if you get, if you got the, um, the charging case, you're probably not going to end up using this, but again, options, things that you can pick up and grab. Um, so, you know, this, it's really not a, a whole lot to say. I mean, you know, I have uh, recommended V2 to people in the past, and I've gotten different feedback from people. Some people really, they, they do like the kit, but after ordering a lot of cartridges, they started telling me that they were getting in inconsistent flavorings. And uh, sometimes the, the cartridges weren't working properly. Uh, from what I hear, these, uh, these tips on the batteries the, that covers the light, they come off pretty easily. They fall off. That's one of the complaints that I've heard. Uh, you know, all in all, it's not too bad. You know, other than the fact you've got to keep buying the cartridges from V2. So that's another thing you need to look at, which it, it is actually, it's a 901 connection. I think it's a 901. It's an 808 or a 901. And uh, you can actually get the cartridges from other companies and fill them yourself, probably cheaper than you can get them from V2. So that's something you might want to look into. Uh, then you got to mess with e-juice and you got to, you know, fill these up, which really isn't bad, but it's something that you're going to look into before you make the total plunge. Uh, you know, instead of paying 2 to $2.50 per cartridge, I think they're $2, $2 per cartridge. And if you order them in quantities, it, it drops the price, obviously. And um, you know, like I said, you can buy the empty ones and fill them yourself. And that's another option. Again, save yourself a little bit of money. It doesn't seem like too much because five empty cartridges was like eight bucks. And then you got to buy the juice, and you can refill them maybe two to three times at the most. So, you know, you're saving some money, but not a ton of money. Um, there are kits out there that, you know, you kind of fill the juice up and there's tanks and things like that and you just it'll go it'll your money will go further but for ease of use it's great so I'm going to take a toot here because I wouldn't mind having one and we're going to get into the awards of where we're at here like the ratings of the electronic cigarette and then I'm going to close this out and get this uh, video done with because we're already around 13 minutes that one's dead Not bad. It's got a nice hit. It's got a nice vapor. Lots of flavors. So, alright, I rate this stuff 1 to 10. 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. Vapor production, 6. Uh, throat hit, 5. Uh, quality.